Hello Taurus. Welcome to the channel. This is Asnoitsha here. For those of you returning, thank you very much for returning. Thank you very much for all of the likes, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. It is a blessing. Thank you so much. For those of you who are new, welcome to the channel. So, I will be looking into the feelings and emotions of the person that you're wanting to connect with on a romantic level. Um, their feelings, their intentions, and I'll be using the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Marashinsky. Also keep in mind, guys, this is a general reading, so it may not resonate for every Taurus out there. Just going to do a quick prayer. So this reading is to cover from mid-September 2020 to the end of September 2020. Um, do keep in mind, time is fluid. So some of this could be happening right now. Some of this could have happened already. All right. Okay, so the first card, I'm going to position it so you guys can see. All right, the first card is Inspiration, followed by Opening. Beauty is two. This is Rhythms. I'm just going to pull mystery card because that's what my eyes fell on. Okay, you guys can see that? All right. Embracing the shadow. Nourishment. Okay. Pleasure. And growth. <sighs> Too good to be true under the bottom of the deck. Order. That's for me, this is the card of order and chaos. All right, let's have a look here. So, Taurus, you have inspiration, opening, beauty, mystery, embracing the shadow, nourishment, pleasure, growth. And under the bottom of the deck, you have order. Okay. So I'm going to express to you what it is that this person is feeling towards you. My dear Taurus, the relationship that I have with you, the energy that I find myself in when I'm with you and when I think of you is very inspiring. You make me feel young again. You make me feel alive. Things smell different, look different, sound different. Because I see the world with rose-tinted glasses now. And you have created this energy inside of me that makes me feel so good. And I do wish to open up about it. I want to talk to you about things that I have kept in the dark, things that I have not confided in you, how I feel, what my deepest emotions are. It is very difficult for me to hold back because I really want to open up. Things that are in the dark need to come into light. And it's overwhelming for me because I do feel that you are a beautiful person on the inside as well as on the outside. And you have that ability to make me see who I really am, what I really am. 
I feel as though the heavens have aligned us as stars to meet. Your soul and my soul somehow was destined to meet. I feel a very unique connection. But there is a part of me that I wish you would not have seen and experienced. Actions and words that I've taken and spoken have made the relationship kind of toxic. I was aggressive, compulsive. There has been a lot of things that I've expressed that are dark. You may not have known of these things. Am I regretful? No. Because this is who I am. This is a part of who I am. This is how I express myself and I can't change who I am. I do feel so fulfilled when I'm in this connection with you. It's just perfect. I feel that there's a spiritual connection, an emotional connection, and a physical connection. And in this relationship, there is so much pleasure that I gain. This pleasure stems from friendship and passion. And I feel as of right now, there's things that I just don't know about you that I'd like to learn more. And so I realize that I want to grow with you. I want to learn more about you. Things may have been rushed before, but now it feels as though I need to take time to stop and think of what I can do in order to make this relationship grow organically. No rushing it. But as of right now, I don't know what to do. I'm stuck in between these thick clouds. I cannot find a way out. I cannot find a pathway. Everything is cloudy around me. If I had a road, I would follow it. But as of right now, I don't see anything. So I'm not taking any action. But I think you are an absolutely wonderful heavenly sent person, very special in my life. All right, Taurus. Wow, that was very sweet, actually. Um, you guys have some pretty good cards here, very genuine cards, straight from the heart, wanting to learn more, wanting to grow more. Okay. I'm gonna have a quick look at what is it that this person is going to do coming forward? Are they going to take any actions? Do they have any intentions? So do keep in mind that these, these may just be intentions, what's on their mind, because I do channel feelings. So this may be just an intention that they have. This may not be an action that they're going to take yet. If it is, if it does tell me that it's not, I will let you guys know, of course. Um, depends on the cards. Wow, Eight of Cups. So the person that you are dealing with, Taurus, um, 
feels that they've been stuck in this energy, in this situation for far too long. And they really want to move away from this negative, toxic kind of energy. Um, there's been something that happened in your relationship and it made the whole relationship very uncomfortable. Let's just put it that way. Um, and this person feels this. They know that you can feel this. So they really want to move on from that kind of energy that has been um, weighing very heavily on the relationship. Nine of Cups. So you have here the Queen of Wands. <coughs> Sorry. The Queen of Wands. <sighs> Great. Sorry, got distracted. Ten of Swords under the bottom of the deck. So you have here Eight of Cups, Queen of Wands, Eight of Swords, Nine of Cups, Ten of Swords. All right, so the Queen of Wands here does talk about somebody who is yourself. Um, this person finds you very attractive, very seductive, even spiritual to some degree. They also feel very much um, pulled towards you. You are absolutely drop-dead gorgeous, whether you're a man or a woman. This person can't stop thinking about you, and they have a lot of fiery energy for you. However, there are internal and external restrictions, Taurus, that's being caused in this in in the connection. So, either this person is doing it on their own; they may have burdens of their own responsibilities, or there may be other people that are saying certain things, and it may be an influence. Now, you also have here the Nine of Cups. No matter what happens, you are still their wish. They still want to be with you. You are what they desire the most. Nine of Cups. In their heart, they want to bend over backwards and be with you and do whatever it takes. Which is why, again, these two cards are very similar. Ten of Swords. They want just the situation to just die off so that something new can be born. They are sick and tired of what's happened. They almost feel betrayed in a way. And I feel here it's betrayed from external energies. They may have been influenced a lot by other people. Either, either you know this or you don't, but it's almost as if they've been backstabbed. So either information was given incorrectly to them um, about you, or they just decided to ask people for some guidance and they were led on the wrong path. But it does show me that there is some reason here where they do feel betrayed, not by you. But they do feel some restrictions. What I'm sensing here is that there's been some type of external influence that has um, caused a rift. Or caused the situation not to come together as of yet. And do keep in mind, it could also simply just be burdens and responsibilities that this person has. There may be um, obligations regard to family, bills, health. It could be anything. All right. This is the Lover's Path Tarot. I'm going to pull out one card for you to see what it is that's mainly causing any negative effect in this situation. guys something I ate I should not have eaten all right eight of cups and then you have the two of coins hmm. so the eight of cups and I'm going to be talking about the negative aspects of this of this card okay so this person does want to move on which is similar to the card you had before the eight of cups um same card actually however this person is not able to move on you may have wanted a change, but they were lingering far too long in a difficult situation. They may have found that your situation with them was superficial, even though from your end it might not have been. They are still uncertain about this relationship, whether they should stay or whether they should leave. There are a lot of doubts in this relationship. And then you have the Two of Coins under the bottom of the deck. With the Two of Coins, it talks about having choices, juggling, balance. This person has a lot of choices to make. 
Yes. They're also juggling many things at once. Again, a lot of burdens and responsibilities. They are not able to create a balance. And when they can't create a balance, they can't dedicate their time and energy to you because most of it is being scattered. It does say here, taking on too much for now. So yes, this person's bitten off more than they can chew. They're also feeling very overwhelmed by demands. And they have overcommitted to themselves. Things that they thought that they could accomplish and finish, they have not been able to. So with the Eight of Swords that you had before in this area, um, <clears throat> sorry guys, um, with the Eight of Swords you see there were restrictions and now these cards do clarify that because it seems like the restrictions that they're having, it's been self-caused because they have literally scattered their energies by trying to invest their time and energy in so many other things. They're not able to fully concentrate on you. So yes, this is internal struggle as well as external. Okay, <laughs> so this is the Dorian Virtues deck, um, Angel Answers. I'm going to pull out seven cards for you. Let's see what messages the angels have for you. You are ready. And then no. Within the next few months, quite hopeful. Okay. Perfect timing. Yeah, you guys can see that. Okay. Meditation brings answers. Success. It's up to you. All right, guys. Under the bottom of the deck, you have abundance. So these messages are brought to you by Archangel Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. And I'm going to read them to you so that they make sense. So Taurus, the angels are saying, you're ready in terms of moving this relationship forward and accepting what it is that will be given to you. No, now is not the right time for this situation to occur. There's a lot of introspection. There's a lot of this person picking themselves up off the ground, dusting their knees, cleaning their, their pants off, and then finally getting back on track or their skirt. But this person is in a phase right now where they're not able to continue. Now is not the right time. But within the next few months will be perfect timing. And in order to achieve that, the angels are saying that meditation will bring answers. For me, the meditation card does talk about literally just praying, praying to the divine and asking for what it is that you need. After that, there is success. And for you to do this or for you to accomplish any of this, it is going to be up to you. If you want to do this, you can manifest abundance. And if you are not going to do this, this type of abundance won't come into your life. But you do have to make an effort. And the effort is literally wait for some time, but pray. And this is for those of you who want to continue a relationship with the person that you're with. If you do not want to continue a relationship, if you feel that is very toxic, then again, this is why this card comes up. It's up to you. It's up to you what to do. You can make it work or not. All right, guys. 
So I hope you resonated with the reading. Let me know in the comments below. Once again, thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. It's, uh, it's been a wonderful journey. All right, guys. So take care, stay safe, definitely stay positive, and I will see you guys next month. All right then. Bye-bye now.